a 3D printed vase is a popular object. Additive manufacturing techniques open a lot of opportunities. Impressive shapes with mind-boggling patterns. Should we print one? In 7 minutes you will know all about the dilemma and 5 method to deal with the problem. We 3D print a vase in this video, and in the end, we will see if it is water resistant. This 3D printed vase takes 3 hours to print. This vase has 4 perimeters and is 8 centimeters high. The 3D print is cut together in sort of a time lapse. When we 3D print vases, we might end up with unpleasant surprises. So, how come, a 3D printed vase, without post-processing, causes a dilemma? To answer, we need to investigate 3D printing materials characteristics. And to narrow down on characteristics, we need to answer some questions. The first question is, where do we place vases? A vase is something you often place at a premium spot. Your beautiful flowers are to be adored by everyone. If indoors, the kitchen table, the windowsill, or the desk, are possible spots. If outdoors, somewhere under the sky in the sun is likely. Most flowers need some sunlight. We need an indoor vase to be waterproof. The question is then, is PLA water resistant? Does PLA hold water? The answer is, no. PLA will not hold water well. But it looks waterproof, why will it not hold water? A 3D printer moves layer by layer. Between those layers, you get small holes. The holes are too small for the human eye, but water will find its way. If you place a vase at your favorite spot, and it leaks, it might ruin some nice piece of furniture. And the leak will be sneaky. Small amounts over long time periods. Hard to spot. Our second question is, what about placing the vase outdoors? It will rain anyway, so who cares if it leaks? A 3D printed vase will take a few hours to print, depending on size, 3D printer and 3D printing settings. It is an investment to print one. If you print a vase, accept the leakage, and put it outdoors, you should know that PLA is not UV resistant. The sunlight will affect the item negatively. It doesn't mean that it won't survive outdoors. You should not be surprised though, if your vase looks different after a few months in the sun. PLA is a brittle material, and the sun will wear it down. For a vase it might not be an issue, it would be worse if it was mount for your bike or a handle. To summarize, the three reasons why a 3D printed PLA vase is a dilemma. 1. PLA leaks water and is not water resistant. This makes it unsuitable and risky to stand on its own indoors. 2. PLA is not UV resistant. The material will degrade when left outdoors. 3. The vase will take a long time to print, and if it fails, it might not be worth the effort. Should you roll over and give up beautiful 3D printed vases? No. Of course not. You will deal with the shortcomings of the 3D printing technology. Here are 5 ways to get that great 3D printed vase if you print with PLA. 1. Model complexity. Your risk goes up with more complex models. Avoid overly complex models and reduce your risk. 2. Layer height. Printing with low layer height will increase the probability to get a waterproof model. You want dense walls, a layer height at 0.15mm is the perfect match between print quality and density. 3. Printing temperature. A higher printing temperature, within the range for your nozzle and filament, is better. Invest in that enclosure and take your prints to the next level. 4. Number of perimeters. You should have at least 4 perimeters, which will give a wall thickness of 2 to 3 mm given that you print with standard 1.75 mm PLA. 5. Post processing. Acrylic lacquer and nail polishing are examples. Make sure that you pick a post processing process that works for PLA. Chemical smoothing for example will give you the most elegant finish, but it is proper for ABS, 
ASA, PVB and HIPS, not PLA. Our vase is about to be born. The mother, our 3D printer, is almost done pushing and breathing. Do you wonder why this vase sticks to the bed so good? I cleaned the bed before the print with isopropyl alcohol. Check out one of my other videos about bed maintenance if you want more information. When I filmed this, I felt the intense work from the fan. Like a warm summer wind it cooled down the PLA plastic. It is majestic and a privilege to witness the elements working together. A hot extruder to melt down PLA plastic, wind from the fan to cool down the structure. Each plastic unit placed on the exact same spot that we planned, when we 3D modeled this and generated the G-code in the slicer. Well, I think it is time for us, to test this print. Is this 3D print water resistant? We will let the pictures speak for themselves. As we can see when we test this vase, it does not hold water. It leaks from the bottom but doesn't seem to leak from the sides. It is possible that it would leak from the sides if the vase was higher and the hydrostatic pressure increased. I hope you learned some things about 3D printing vases, and maybe we even saved grandmother's old table since we now avoid putting a 3D printed leaking vase on it. If you learned a thing or two and want to learn more, subscribe to the channel, comment below, like this video or why not share it with the 3D printing community? Good luck with your 3D printing aspirations.